everyone welcome back to spectrum classes this is an, another video on the topic phase diagram and in this video i am going to tell you the phase diagram for water system how it could be interpreted and how it is going to be understand and the simple terms and tricks to which you can easily memorize this water system once you understand this water system you can easily do the carbon dioxide as well as sulfur systems so that i am going to discuss in my next videos here we are going to discuss in detail the water system so let's start with the video water system and this is a chemically known reactive system here i have chosen this picture from internet and this seems to be very beautiful to me so here you can see the liquid phase here ice which is a solid so this is a water system Water system is having three different phases as, as we have discussed here, ice, liquid and gas. So these three are in equilibrium. So it has maximum three phases and all three phases will be defined in terms of H2O composition. Right. So this is a one component system. So you are very much familiar with this. I have already discussed all such things in my previous video. So you can get, go and check this. Now coming to the salient features of the phase diagram for water system. Many things we have already discussed. So here this is a three phase system and one component system. So three phases that are shown here. So one is solid, liquid and vapors. Now the salient features what we have drawn here. There are three different curves. OA, OB and OC curves are there. Here the important thing is that this OA curve is drawn up to the critical temperature and critical pressure so here i have drawn this so here is the critical temperature which is 374 degree centigrade and 218 atmospheric pressure so beyond that we cannot draw this oa curve whereas this curve ob is drawn up to the absolute temperature that is 0 kelvin or minus 273 degree centigrade so these are the two important points up to which these OA curve, OB curves are drawn. Now what about this OC curve? OC curve here it is having negative slope. So why this negative slope? This can be explained by the Clapeyron equation and if we revert this we will get dt upon dp is equal to delta Vm upon delta Sm means molar entropy and molar volume because of this negative v2 minus v1 or v liquid minus v solid we have this dt upon dp is equal to negative means we are having this negative slope first and what does it signify it signifies that on increasing the pressure melting point of solid or water decreases right this is how this can be understood now Coming to the next which is a triple point. So triple point here is the triple point O. Here we are having the triple point. So triple point is that where all three solid, liquid and gas phases coexist together. And this is just a single point. It exists at 0 0.0076 degree centigrade and 4.58 millimeter Hg. Means millimeter pressure in terms of mercury the next is the areas oac so what is that oac this is the area a o and b the area so here we are having three different areas where single single phases are existing so these points we are going to discuss in the upcoming slides next is the metastable curve so what is called metastable so it is shown by this thin line oa prime here, OA prime is the metastable curve. This one. So first, we are going to discuss how you are going to write the phase diagram for water system in your exam. So that I have described over here. What we have discussed, we have three curves: OA, OB, and OC. Curve OA. How we are going to explain this curve OA? So which one is OA? OA is this vapor pressure curve, liquid to gas or gas to liquid vapor pressure curve. So it represents the vapor pressure of liquid water at different temperatures. The two phases water and water vapor coexist in equilibrium along this curve. Equilibrium between liquid water and water vapor. So this is the important point. 
the curve OA terminates at A. So where it going to be terminate? It terminates at critical temperature. So what is that critical temperature? So we have already discussed 374 degrees centigrade and 218 atmosphere pressure. When the liquid vapors are indistinguishable from each other and there is left one phase only, which is known as superfluid. So when the vapor pressure is equal to one atmospheric pressure, the liquid starts boiling at 100 degrees centigrade. So this is called boiling point. Now coming to the degree of freedom. So along the curve OA, we are having this formula F is equal to C minus P plus 2. So what is C? C stands for the component. So how many components are there? Since it is a water system, so one component. How many phases are there? So here exists two phases, liquid and gas phase. So two phases are there. So I have written here two phases. Okay. Plus 2. Plus 2. So you will get 1. So it is having one degree of freedom or it is called monovariant. So along one pressure, it is having one temperature only. Now coming to the next curve. Next curve is our OB curve. OB curve, you just identify what is existing over there. Solid and vapors are there. So this is called sublimation curve. Here what I have written is, it shows the vapor pressure of solid ice at different temperatures. The two phases, solid ice and vapor, coexist in equilibrium along this curve. So along this curve is important. At the lower limit, the curve OB terminates at absolute zero. This we have already discussed. So it is terminated at absolute zero minus 273 degree centigrade where no vapors exist. Now coming to the degree of freedom. So here again we are applying F is equal to C minus P plus 2. How many components? One component. How many phases? Two phases, solid and vapor. And we are getting one. So this is again uh, having one degree of freedom or it is called monovariance. Now the third one. So third is OC curve. This is called fusion curve. Here which kind of phases are there? Solid and liquid phase. So you can write down here, it depicts the effect of pressure on melting point of ice. Here ice and water coexist in equilibrium. The fact that OC slope to the left indicates that the melting point of ice decreases with increase of pressure. So this is how you can understand and why this is negative or on, towards the left hand side because ice has more volume than the liquid. By leach etlers principle, the melting point is lowered by an increase of pressure. So this is for your understanding only. Means if volume decreases, temperature increases. It may be noted that the one atmosphere line meets the fusion curve at 0 degree centigrade. So this is the one atmospheric pressure at 0 degree centigrade. Which is the normal melting point of ice. If we increase the pressure, then our melting point will go on decreasing here. Yes. So this is how you can understand. Now coming to its degree of freedom. So the curve OC again have F is equal to C minus P plus 2. C is 1, P is 2 and this 2. So we are getting 1. And this again has 1 degree of freedom or it is called monovariance. Now coming to the triple point. So what is called triple point where all three phases coexist together. So here I have written the curves OA, OB and OC meet at the triple point O where all the three phases liquid water, ice, vapor are in equilibrium. This occurs at here it is important to know these numbers. So 0 0.0076 degree centigrade and vapor pressure is 4.58 millimeter Hg. Hg stands for mercury. Since there are three phases and one component we have C is 1. Phases are 3, so we are all together get 0, right? So it means that triple point is having 0 degree of freedom or it is invariant or non variant. Means it is at this pressure and this temperature only. If we disturb this pressure or temperature, then all three phases will not be in equilibrium anymore, right? So this is how you can understand. Now coming to the areas. So what is called area? Say this is our area. And in this area only one phase is there that is liquid phase. The areas or regions between the curves show the conditions of temperature and pressure under which a single phase ice 
वाटर वेपर्स और वाटर इज केपेबल ऑफ स्टेबल एग्जिस्टेंस द एरिया एओसी रिप्रेजेंट्स कंडीशन फॉर द वन वे सिस्टम वाटर हियर आई हैव ड्रॉन दिस द एरिया एओबी एओबी दिस वन दिस इज फॉर वाटर वेपर्स एंड एरिया बीओसी दिस इज फॉर आइस आई हैव रिटर्न हियर Okay, now coming to the degree of freedom for these areas, f is equal to c minus p plus two, so this will gives us two. The system is having two degree of freedom, that is, it is called as bivariate. Two degree of freedom means we need to specify pressure or temperature or concentration at any point under this area. We need to specify two of the variables either pressure temperature temperature concentration or concentration pressure now coming to the metastable curve the metastable curve and this is the extension of the curve oa up to the point a prime the vapor pressure curve of water ao you just try to understand be continued past the triple point as shown the dashed line oa prime that is water can be super cooled by carefully eliminating solid particles here you can understand this sometimes it is possible with due care to cool water below its freezing temperature without the separation of ice but here it is important the super cooled water vapor system is metal stable or that is unstable it at once revert to the stable system that is ice vapor on the slightest disturbance or introducing a crystal of ice if we simply add one crystal of ice at this moment it immediately convert it to the ice right? so this is a very unstable type of system that is why we call it metastable curve water system here is the boiling point at one atmospheric pressure and this is the critical temperature and critical pressure beyond which this oa curve cannot be extended and this is the metastable curve which is for super cool liquid and this is the extension of oa curve below this triple point and ob is the sublimation curve oc is the melting point curve and this oa is the vaporization curve triple point metastable curve and different area so this is how you can explain this water system for your exam point of view as a long question right i hope you guys understand this water phase diagram and if you like this video please subscribe and share it with your friends thank you thanks for watching